What's up guys, Rupdad here, and welcome to another installment of the Pokemon Shield Anti-Max Nuzlocke. Or Anti-Dynamax Nuzlocke. I should sell out one of those two names. Well, Anti-Max is the name of my character, Anti-Dynamax is the name of the series. Anyway, I just got finished with a ton of off-screen grinding in preparation for what lies ahead, because in the last episode, we made our way through the Galar Mine, beat, uh, Bede, arrogant little punk. And made it here to Turfield, and in addition, met the Turfield gym leader Milo, who awaits for us down there. Once the line of challengers clears out. Sonya's also waiting for us somewhere off that way, so we'll go see what she wants here in a sec. But first, let me show you what uh where my team's at right now. So my Rookity went and evolved during the uh, grinding session, which of course you'll see the montage before uh this part, so you will have seen the evolution. Pigeonite is now a Corvus Squire. And I also found a Sharp Beak, which I gave it. It is level 18 now. Gluttony is level 17. Rose is level 20. Glacia is 18. Steel Wool is 17. And Alejandro is 19. Um, don't worry about Mudbray. I put it in the box for the time being because it's not really going to be of any help to this upcoming gym. So I figured it was safer in there. Pigeonite and Glacia, the two who I'm going to probably rely on for this gym. They're a bit underleveled for the gym leader, but... Hopefully it won't be that big of an issue. In any case, let's go see what uh, Sonya wants. As we follow her Yomper to and fro. Following the Yomper, following the Yomper, following this little Yomper. I did not intentionally mean to try and uh, mass it up with hopes and dreams. That's just how uh, it came out. Regardless, what do you want, Sonya? She wants to hear my thoughts on something. Are you sure about that? That Geoglyph, um, is it something relating to the thing I'm not doing that I stand against in uh, this instance? The whole Dynamax phenomenon? A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. Giant Pokemon ran rampant. What was the black storm they called the Darkest Day? What connections does that have to Dynamax? Yeah, you, uh, go worry about that. I will take Milo's League card, because why not? And she gives me two revives, which are useless to me. Because Nuzlocke. Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably stock up, because I actually burned a, quite a few potions while I was, uh, doing my training grinding. So I will do that quick. Hop is gone, so I'm assuming the line opened up in that... Like, what? One, two minutes? Um, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna do some selling first. I think I can sell. Um, like these two big mushroom pieces. One of which my, uh, Meow found. The star piece. The star dust. And these four revives because I'm not reviving Pokemon. So I can't buy super potions yet, but I can buy regular potions, so I will proceed to do that. I will stock up on those. Uh, I'll go 15, why not? Let's be a bit excessive. I also, of course, have uh, my Meowth knowing payday, so that's a thing that can happen as well. Uh, let me look around real quick, see if there's anything else that might be of interest. Let's see, she just talks about the flowers. Is there anything down? Is there... Yes, there's an item down here. And that would be a Max Revive. That is a Nuzlocke. Oy vey. And that way it's blocked off. Okay. So I, I kind of think I want to put Glacia out front. I'm definitely not going to keep Pigeon. Pigeon Eye is not going to be too far behind. Oh, hey, Hop. What's up? Got the Grass Gym Badge on your first try. G good for you. But I am your rival, so I will take care of business as I do. So, in we go. Oh, hey, Ball Guy. What's up? He gives me the Friend Ball. Pretty soon I'll be able to get quite a few of these, uh... Because uh, when the DLC comes out, Apricorn, uh, crafting's going to be a thing again. 
Um, I really don't need to buy gym clothes. Screw that. The gym outfits are nice, but they're really only useful for, uh, Wi-Fi, which I, is not my immediate plan. So I also got to buy items from here. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's talk to you. Blah, blah, blah. Defeat gym mission. Uh, go to gym leader. Stomp him into the dirt. Get badge. I think that's all that really needs to be said about this. So, here I am. Looking like an official challenger, even though Anti-Max is against this whole thing. He just likes being a rebel. Anti-establishment and all that. But it is time for the Turf Field Gym Challenge. There's a whole bunch of grass Pokemon ahead of me that I get to uh, shred. Would have been much easier if I still had my Score Bunny, but... Frickin' Pancham. Ugh. That stupid little panda bear is going to haunt me for the rest of this playthrough. I just know it. In any case, uh... Hello, uh... Pokemon League official. I'm gonna chase these unruly Wooloo to uh, the blockade so they can break through and we can move on to the next. And his name is Dan. Nice to meet you, Dan. On we go. Rollin', rollin', rollin'. Gotta get these little Wooloo rollin'. Hey, bah, 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 bah. Where are you going? Get in there. Thank you. Stop rolling away from me. Roll onto the platform. Thank you. How do they get a digital display hooked up with that? Although there's probably cables behind it that uh, no one actually sees. So we're gonna roll on through, and now we have the Yomper in here. To add the extra challenge, except this actually isn't that much of a challenge at all. Wow. But of course, there is a gym trainer standing in our way, so we will tend to him shortly. As the ruler roll on through. What's up, bud? Sorry, but you have to send me packing. Alright, Samuel. Hit me with your best shot. Hello, Gossifleur! Meet my early game ice type! I'm just gonna go ahead and click the Powder Snow button. <laughs> really an immediate thaw? Really? I'm gonna Ice Shard, actually. I'll do that speed- or get around that speed boost. Because it still kills, why not? Screw you, Gossifleur. You got nothing on me. Mmm. Um, I'm gonna herd you off to the side here because that Wulu or that Yomper's right in the middle. I'm gonna take care of you quick because, of course. Gym Trainer Mark, gonna beat you as well. Hey, I got one of those. I bet it's better than yours. Anyway, Glyce is just gonna click Powder Snow. We are going to put this thing on ice. That was a hint, game. Ah, oh, well. I guess I can't get freezes on command, as nice as that would be. Anyway, I'm just gonna Powder Snow again. That should be the end of the video. Farewell. Bye bye, Badoo. That is an Oddish. I'm just gonna collect the Powder Snow button. Be done with that. Well, I guess not quite. What is with you and growth? I mean, I get the boosting strategy behind it, but I don't. Even at plus one, you're not taking out uh, Glacia here. And that was just plain stupid. But, if the gym trainers are going to let me waltz on past fairly easily, I'll take it. I'll just use Ice Shard to preserve Powder Snows. Farewell, Oddish. Eh, almost there. And that's the end of him. Is there one more gym trainer I need to get through? Because if there is, that would actually be kind of nice.
Yeah, there's one more uh, part for this puzzle. So I should have one more trainer I would need to uh, dispatch of. Yeah, because here there's two Yompers. I'm going to herd these Wooloo along this way. Get behind uh, this Yomper. It's rolling in a circle. I'm going to avoid you for now so I can get these Wooloo into place. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Part my Wulu into your pens. But before I go wrapping this up, I'm gonna go uh, beat up this gym trainer for the experience to try and get uh, my threats to Milo. You look like you've been enjoying a little too much of something there, uh, sweetheart. I mean, we are in the grass gym. I don't want to imply anything, but the look in your eyes is definitely implying something. That I'm not going to outright say because I'm just going to be nice about this. In any case, I'm just going to kill this bone sweet. Hopefully this trainer will be enough to at least allow me to get uh, my threats to Milo at, to at least level 19. That would be, that would make things so much easier on me as far as, uh... okay, there's one more. It is the Oddish. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna switch to Pigeonite so it gets some more experience. As opposed to just collecting whatever it gets from the experience share. Glacia should be leveling up. I'm gonna try and have Pigeonite do the same. So I'm just gonna pluck this Oddish out of the ground and into oblivion. That's the end of that little weed. And Pigeonite and Glacia both go to level 19. Perfect. Ideally, I would have liked them to be level 20 for uh, Milo's strongest, but beggars can't be choosers. So, off we shall go. I know I have my Dynamax band. I wish I could take it off, but I guess uh, the professor fused it to my arm, so it's not going anywhere, which is dumb. Because I am not Dynamaxing. That defeats the whole point of this. But, our first re We're already down one Mon! Our first real challenge is upon us. I'm going to take a sec to heal up real quick. Make sure Glacia's at full. And Pigeonite's at full. I'm going to lead Glacia for sure. And we're going to see how well this goes. Time to see the whole point of this challenge in action. Milo is the first roadblock. Let's see how well this goes. Probably not well at all, but... This is basically going to set the tone for how well this is going to go for the, rest of the, for the rest of this Nuzlocke. To say the least. Yep, I breezed through your gym challenge pretty easily. I understand Pokemon really well. You can Dynamax. My name implies that I'm not. And I'm sticking by that. I'm sticking by that gun. I have made a self-imposed rule that if I do break that rule and Dynamax in, then whatever mod I maxed I, is considered dead as far as I'm concerned. Or actually, no, I'm just cool. Actually, I, I haven't settled on that, but actually I think I'm more of the, of the likelihood that since I'm trying not to max. Yeah, yeah, I know the Dynamax went on. on. Is it on? Actually, the better idea, since it violates the whole challenge if I go that route. If, if, if for whatever reason I break the temptation to Dynamax, which requires two clicks, so it's not that much of two button, well, two button clicks, so it's not that big of a uh, challenge, actually, to uh, ignore that it's there. I do it all the time in Wi-Fi battles, aside from my G-Max mons for draft battles. Alright. If for whatever reason I violate it, this challenge is over and I lose. Plain and simple. I'm going to Ice Shard to get around the Rapid Spin boost. And that's the end of Gossifleur. Great work, Glacia. Alejandro's level 20. Ooh, boy. Here comes the Eldegoss. Uh, can Glacia take a hit from it? 
That is what concerns me right now. Uh, probably not, actually. I'm going to switch to Steel Wool. I'm going to attempt to use the fact that, as far as I'm aware, Grass is not super effective against Steel to try to tank this. Go ahead and Dynamax, bud. I can beat you without it. Pass the ball. Off it goes. Time to play Kaiju Killer. Fear the giant Eldegoss. Which is probably going to overgrowth, right? It's really leaving shock and awe. It's our Dynamax move. And he is going to max overgrowth, which is fine. Because that's the grassy terrain, which Steel Wool can also take advantage of. Ooh, it did not take that as well as I thought it would. That three level difference is actually going to going to come back to haunt me. Okay. So... I'm just going to potion up. We're going to play this game right now. Although I do believe another overgrowth will be a lot stronger because of the terrain. And yep, that's exactly what Milo's going to pull. And I know this thing also has round. Did that do less damage? I want to say that actually did less. Which is... Odd to me. Because it should be get, getting a terrain buff. But well, now the thing's going to max spike. Or max strike, sorry. And that's going to lower me out speed, which is fine. We have weathered the Dynamax Storm. I know. It's cheap, but... Well, maybe a bit cheap. But hey, I had something that resisted. I was going to play that game. And now I'm going to let Pigeonite take care of this from here. Actually, how well would Pigeonite have taken that? Because it resists as well. As this thing's going to go ahead and round. That did quite a bit. Act well, let me check something real quick. Let's see. You are at... See, that was... Well, actually, that could have been either one. So, 30, 27, 22, 23. So, yeah, Pitch and I probably could have taken that better, actually, now in, in hindsight. In any case, I'm just going to pluck this thing. That screams two hit KO. It's going to sp spit a leafage at me. Actually, with the terrain, that may not be a two hit KO. Well, we're going to pluck again anyway. Yep, the terrain. The terrain fixed that. Ooh, yeah. If, if his max overgrowth was based off of uh, Magical Leaf, that actually would have been problematic for, uh, prob for the most part, for Pigeonite. But, Steel Wolf's going to go to level 18 after that performance. It did a good job being a tank. Gluttony's going to go to level 18 as well, because... And we survive our first challenge without Dynamaxing. All hail the mighty challenger who refuses to max his mons. And we obtain the Grass Badge. I will gladly take that. So, only way I can uh, get to the Champion Cup at the end is to beat uh, all the leaders. TM10 Magical Leaf. That might actually come in handy for uh, my Badoo. And the Grass Uniform, which is useless to me. So, Holberry is next. Or, of course, I can head to the Wild Area to catch higher level Pokemon. Actually, what can I catch right about now if I want to go back there? Up to 30. Of course, considering my mons are just barely cracking the 20s, I may hold off on that for some of those areas that I haven't tackled yet. But, first gym badge in hand. We have weathered the Dynamax Storm for the first time. Not bad at all. So, 
So I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Get my mons all nice and healthy again. Right, the DLC stuff, we're going to ignore the existence of that. And... I kind of want to put Q Lazarus back in my party somewhere. You know what, I'll put it in over Gluttony. Because I don't really see myself using Gluttony a lot for quite a while. And now I'm going to sort through my uh, TM, see what I can play around with. Rose can learn Pin Missile. Huh, maybe I could have gone with that in the gym battle. It can't learn Magical Leap, are you serious? <sighs> well, I'll teach it Pin Missile, so it's at least got some diversity in its move set. I'm gonna get rid of Worry Seed, because Worry Seed is kind of useless. Uh, nothing else I have. Can really, well. Sorry about the cut there. I uh, got called away to take care of something briefly. In any event, I think our party's looking all uh, good right now. Actually, do I have another battle with Hop up here? I think I do, actually. Mm, I'll leave Glacia out front. But how, wait, hang, hang on a sec. Steel Wool, you are holding a super potion. I will take that. Thank you very much. So we're going to cross the bridge. Nope, no battle with Hop yet. There is this double battle, though. And I know I can catch a new Mon because this is a new route. Um... This is a steel type and an electric type, I believe. I'm gonna have Rose and Q Lazarus do take a take a stab at this with these interviewers. We shine on camera. Well, let's see how well that works. Show me what you got. Helium tile and clink. Okay, I made the right call. I remember what these guys call. All right. Actually, bulls hits everyone, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna do it anyway. Now I'm just gonna absorb from Helioptile. All oh, right, Rose is faster. It's gonna charge. Okay. I would send out Pigeonite, but there's an electric step on the other side. Q Lazarus, what are you doing? Don't crit your don't crit your friend. Come on, Q Lazarus. I mean Pigeon's gonna go to level 20 out of that, but Okay, metal sound. Okay, we are not doing bulldoze again. That was a bad idea from the beginning. I probably should not have done that. We're just gonna rock smash the clink. And I'm going to absorb... I know it's not very effective, but I'm going to absorb from it anyway just to get some HP back for uh, Rose here. What In what universe did I think that was a brilliant idea? Well, Rose lived at least. You two have some issues you need to work out. My uh, flower butt and my workhorse. Well, Rose is going to go to level 21 out of his Glacia. Oh, Glacia is the one learning Protect now. Uh... I'm going to give it a double team. Because I think Protect might actually be more useful to me long term. At the very least, it helps weather the storm a bit for uh, max moves. If I need to resort to that down the line. Okay. Uh... I'm going to put Rose back up front and I'm going to use a potion on her. Oh, I'm still in TMs. Because, I, I know there's a mod I can also get on this route from the uh, daycare, which is over here, but I kind of want to go the uh, grass. I just want to get my mod from the grass. I, one encounter per route. And for route five, it is... Alombre. So... 
I'm going to skip that because it is a dupe. I am running dupes clause. I don't know if I explained that in my uh, in in my part one or not, but I am running dupes clause, and I already do have a have a lombre that is still very fully healthy and uh, functioning. Three heal balls. That's a grass encounter, and that's a dotler. I will take the dotler. Mmm. I'm gonna stun spore this thing just to make it easier to it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, new plan. We're not paralyzing this thing. Um, Pigeonite. You can just wear this thing down the old fashioned way. We're not gonna use a paralysis. This is up light screen, which is fair enough. I could care less about that. I'm just gonna hit this thing with a pluck. Oh, thank God. Dollar would actually be kind of nice, not gonna lie. Is that a reflect? Yes, it is. Actually, this is a bug type, and I do have net balls. So why not? I bought them, I might as well use them. Dottler's mine. Alright, now that we are past the whole uh, dupes cloth potential, q is level 17, Steel Wool is level 19. I'm liking this Doppler I got. Or Dottler, Dop Doppler, Dottler. Dottler Radar. And I already know exactly what I'm going to call this thing. It turns into Orbeetle, which is a ladybug. So, and it is female, so... Miraculous. Simply the best. Up to the test when things go wrong. Alright, that's enough of that. Gentle nature, so plus special defense minus defense. That could come in handy. It has both screens, which... That could come in handy, actually. Hmm. This is a tough one. Because this thing could actually potentially come in handy, especially in the upcoming gym. It can make my, it can make my life significantly easier. This is a tough, this is a tough one. If I put in my party, what would I be willing to put in the box? I would kind of say Q Lazarus again. Just because of the fact that this thing is not really going to be of any significant help to me gym-wise, unfortunately, until I get to uh, loop back around the Mortar Stoke. Yeah, I'll put Q Lazarus in the box for now. And I'll put Q La but I'll put Miraculous into my party. Drown these guys. There's a berry tree here. I might as well shake this real quick. Not bad. And we'll leave it be there. Chest of berry, person berry, chillin' berry. And I run right into a trainer. I was eyeing the... I was too busy focusing on the uh, stuffle that was hiding behind the tree there. So he's got an apple. I have my rosebud. Which has kind of seen better days. Uh, the Miraculous is not in good shape either. -y. I'll have Glacia handle this one. Because this thing is Grass Dragon. Anyone who has never played this game probably would not be believing that. But, uh, I mean, if it was just pure grass and then the dragon came from its, two its split evolution, that'd be one thing. But, eh. Early game dragon. Quad weakness to ice. I'll take it. Farewell. And that's the end of that. Alright. So. I'm just going to get to a safe spot here. Not near that Wobbuffet. I do not want to run into one of those. So. We have conquered our first uh, leg of the gym challenge. With tactics. I'll leave it at that. And we now have a, have a ladybug on our team. I dare to say that uh, works out quite nicely. So, I think I'm going to call it apart here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. 
I have been Rupped at, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.